for this experiment we require ph4 acetate buffer solution 1000 ppm of sulfate ion stock solution barium chloride solids colorimeter with cuvet with a filter of 420 nanometer and 600 ml standard measuring flask and 1250 ml standard measuring flask pipette out 25 ml of 1000 ppm sulfate ion solution in 250 ml standard measuring flask and dilute it with distilled water up to the mark by using 250 ml distilled water this result in the formation of 100 ppm sulfate ion solution from this 100 ppm sulfate ion solution prepare 6 standard solution for a calibration curve for this pipette out 100 ppm of standard solution in the order of 5 10 20 30 40 in the flask from 1 to 5 now to each flask add ph4 buffer solution in the volume of 10 ml after addition of 10 ml buffer solution add 0.1 gram of barium chloride after addition of 0.1 gram barium chloride dilute each flask by using distilled water up to the mark so as mentioned in the procedure first we have taken 7 flasks and numbered them as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To each serially flask, we have added 100 ppm of standard solution of sulfate ion in the increasing order of volume that is 0, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40. Then we have added 10 ml of pH 4 acetate buffer solution to each flask and after addition of buffer solution we have added 0.1 gram of barium chloride into each flask and each flask is shaken vigorously and then finally we have diluted each flask by using distilled water up to the mark at pH 4 there is a reaction between sulfate ion and added barium plus 2 ion forming insoluble precipitate of barium sulfate if we observe the flask number from 0 to 6 the turbidity increases from flask number 0 to 6 as we have added sulfate ion in the increasing order of concentration now select the 420 nanometer wavelength filter on the colorimeter and do the standardization by using blank that is adjust zero absorbance by using blank after doing standardization by using same kuwait and at the same wavelength measure the absorbance of all the standard solutions to get calibration curve for 5 ppm solution the reading is 0 0.02 for 10 ppm the absorbance reading is 0 0.03 units for 20 ppm sulfate ion solution the absorbance reading is 0 0.06 units for 30 ppm sulfate ion solution the absorbance reading is 0 0.1 units for 40 ppm the absorbance reading is 0 0.11 units now you are provided with a standard measuring flask bearing your table number in which unknown sample solution is given. Dilute that solution by using distilled water up to the mark and pipette out 10 ml for the further development. To the 10 ml of unknown sample solution, add 10 ml of acetate buffer and 0.1 gram of barium chloride. After addition of 0.1 gram barium chloride, dilute the flask by using distilled water and shake vigorously to get homogeneous solution. Measure the absorbance of same unknown solution by using colorimeter 
at the same wavelength that is 420 nanometer. The absorbance of unknown sample solution is 0 0.06 units. Note down all the absorbance readings of the respective solutions in the observation table and plot a graph of absorbance versus concentration of sulphate ion in ppm. Plot the concentration on x-axis which is drawn on the second horizontal line and absorbance on y-axis which is drawn on the second vertical line. The point of intersection of both the axes is 0, 0. Take the scale on both the axes on x-axis 1 cm equal to 2.5 ppm and on y-axis 1 cm equal to 0 0.01 units. The scale will depend upon our observations. Now plot the points by observing the readings. Plot all the points. Connect the points to get straight line passing through origin. Then plot the absorbance of unknown solution which is 0 0.06 on y axis. And from that point draw a tangent towards this straight line. From the point of intersection of this tangent to this straight line passing through origin, draw the tangent towards x axis. The point of intersection of this tangent to this straight line is the concentration of 10 cm cube of diluted unknown sample solution which is 20 ppm. Therefore, from the graph, concentration of unknown that is amount of sulphate ion present in 10 cm cube of diluted sample solution is 20 ppm. Hence, amount of sulphate ion present in 100 cm cube of diluted sample solution will be 10 into A that is 10 into 20 equal to 200 ppm. Let us calculate percentage error which is equal to Xi minus Xt upon, upon Xt into 100 where Xi is the observed value which is 200 ppm and true value will be told by the examiner which is also in this case 200 ppm. Hence, percentage error on the calculation is 0 percent. The final results of the experiment absorbance of diluted unknown sample solution is 0 0.06 units amount of sulphate ion in the given sample solution is 200 ppm and percentage error is 0 percent.